morning to all. Today we are going to discuss the topic photochemical rate law. Consider a photochemical reaction, it is A is the reactant so HNU is a photon of energy converted to product. If a beam of intensity I0 is incident on the reaction cell of width L, area of cross section X, then number of Einstein absorbed per second is A s into i0 minus i where i is the intensity of transmitted light as we know according to weir lambert's law ln i by i0 is equal to minus alpha into c into l where alpha is the proportionality constant c is the concentration l is the thickness of the medium rearranging this concentration by a so minus alpha into l into concentration of a that is taken as equation number one Rearranging the equation number one, we get I is equal to I zero e raised to minus ln is replaced e raised to minus alpha into L into concentration of A. It's equation number two. So number of Einstein absorbed per second is equal to S into I zero minus I. It is equation number two. Substituting equation two in equation three, we get s into i0 minus i that is i is equal to i0 into ratio minus alpha into l into a so s into i0 minus i is i0 e raised to minus alpha into l into a for rearranging this you can take i0 so i0 is common so s into i0 into 1 minus e raised to minus alpha into l into a so as we know e raised to minus x is equal to 1 minus x so this equation becomes s into i0 into 1 minus of 1 minus x alpha l concentration of a minus alpha l concentration of a so one cancel so s into i0 alpha l into concentration of a thus number of einstein at sort per second is equal to s into i0 alpha l into concentration of a Hence, we know quantum yield phi is equal to number of moles of A decomposed per second divided by number of Einstein absorbed per second. So that is equal to number of moles of A decomposed per second divided by number of Einstein. That's we derive number of Einstein S into I0 alpha L into concentration of A. Since S is the reaction cross section and L is the thickness of our so that is S into L is the volume of the reaction cell and number of moles of A decomposed per second divided by cell volume gives the change in concentration of A in moles per unit volume. So change in concentration of A per unit volume is equal to phi. It is change in A per second divided by I0 alpha in the concentration of A. That is change in concentration of A per second is equal to minus dA by dt is equal to i0 into alpha into concentration of a rearranging the equation minus da by dt is equal to phi i0 alpha into concentration of a this is the constant photochemical rate law photochemical decomposition of a is first order reaction the rate law for a number of photochemical reactions are derived using well-known steady state approximation so next we are going to discuss the kinetics of some important photochemical reaction. It is kinetics of hydrogen and chlorine reaction. Photochemical reaction of hydrogen and chlorine. So hydrogen and chlorine, H2 and Cl2 react with K1 to HCl in gas phase. The can derive the mechanism of the hydrogen and chlorine photochemical reaction. So following mechanism. As we suggested for this reaction, that is Cl2 plus H nu gives that is K1 is the rate 2 Cl. Second, Cl plus H2 and K2 gives HCl plus H. Or third one, H plus Cl2 gives K3 HCl plus Cl. Cl at the walls we react to form K4 is the reaction from free constant of Cl2. Let us derive the rate law for the formation of HCl. According to the mechanism given above, R is equal to d by dt of HCl, that is equal to K2 into concentration of Cl 
into concentration of H2 plus K3 into concentration of H into concentration of Cl2. This is taken as equation number one. Applying steady state approximation to Cl, we have D Cl by dt is equal to K1 into Ia minus K2 into Cl into H2 plus K3 into H into Cl2 minus K4 into Cl. That is equal to zero. That is taken as equation number two. Where Ia is the intensity of absorbed radiation. Applying steady state approximation to H, we have dH by dt is equal to K2 into Cl into H2. That is equation number one. Equation two. K Cl into H2 minus K3 into H into Cl2 is equal to zero. Adding equation two and three, we get K1 into Ia minus K4 into L is equal to zero. So that rearranging concentration of Cl is equal to K1 into Ia by K4 is taken as equation number four. Substituting equation four in equation three, we get K2 into K1 into divided Ia divided by K4 into H2 minus K3 into H into Cl2 is equal to zero. Rearranging H is equal to concentration of H is equal to K1 into K2 into Ia into H2 divided by K3 into K4 into Cl2. That is equation number five. So we get rate, not find the rate of the reaction substituting five and four in equation one. We have R is equal to K1 K2 into Ia into concentration of H2 divided by K4 plus K1 K2 Ia into H2 divided by K4. It is adding, we get equation 2 into K1, K2, Ia into concentration of H2 divided by K4. So, simply R is equal to K into Ia divided into concentration of H2, where K is the 2 into K1, K2 divided by K4. That is, the rate is directly proportional to intensity Ia of the absorbed radiation and the quantum yield for this photochemical reaction is 10 raised to 4 to 10 raised to 6. That is the photochemical reaction of hydrogen and chrome. Hope you understood. Thank you.